They are wearable works of art and you will see them on the best dressed ladies at the Iroquois steeplechase this weekend. We are so excited to have Christine Moore, the official milliner of the steeplechase, the Kentucky Derby and so many other special events here with us today. She's going to show us some of her beautiful creations. I feel so elegant in this beautiful hat. You look fabulous. It's a perfect pick for this. Thank you. I'm so glad you dressed me today. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so what trends are you seeing for the Iroquois steeplechase well, this year? Well, definitely the hat is leading the, the silhouette. Um, uh, the silhouettes and it's because it's just so um, American style and tradition to for both steeplechase and derby mm -hmm. people want to go back to that like go bigger go home right look but the fascinator is still a valid choice too mm -hmm. I mean it's going to be sunny though yeah so a hat might be the way to go definitely you've got some beautiful fascinators down front that's here right. that's such a, a classic look too I think but you say the bigger hats are the ones that are really making the statement this year that, that's right but they're but the but another part of it is that there's something about every, anything that you're wearing on your head that pops, okay? Mm -hmm. So it could be, so a fascinator could be the way to go with a, a trim, it could be the color, it could be like a big bow. So I think it's just like find something in, the, in your hat that's gonna like, like stop the crowd, sure. make them admire you, um, and you know, say, wow, I gotta take a picture. Yeah, your hats always make a statement. Look at this ginormous bow here, that's amazing. Well, and we're known to make our own flowers and bows, so it's very unique. And um, in this case, we piece this one together. These are hand painted. Um, you know, it's just like you can see how like this big, gorgeous flower here is just uh, unique. That's we, incredible. We yeah. don't buy our flowers; we actually make them from scratch. How many hours does it take to create a hat like this? Uh, this is probably a six-hour hat. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, probably about four-hour, and most of it is the painting. You know, I can make a rain hat in 45 minutes, but none of these are rain hats. Right. And of course, oh these are one of a kind, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're one of, uh, well, they're all, there's a collection, but then I, I kind of roll, it's a body of work, so it kind of rolls from, uh, there's a one starting piece in every, of every category, and it rolls out. Yeah. Into, so they're, but they're all unique, and my staff, when they craft something, it turns out differently from person to person, so you never feel like you're seeing the same hat. When you're trying to decide what to wear to an event like the steeplechase, do you start with the dress or start with the hat? Okay, that's a good question because um, people ask me that all the time and they want to start with the hat because they just go like, I have to find something for this or this. But I find that if you, if, because of fit issues, find the dress first and then we can like either craft a hat for you especially with those colors, or we'll find one for you that yeah. you'll love. But I think it's easier, because there's only one you know, head measurement. Sure. There's a lot on the body. So. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> yeah. find the perfect dress, and you can make the perfect hat. Let's talk about guys, too. Yeah. We don't want to leave them out. And you make such a great statement with your hats. What are the popular ones for the guys? Okay, definitely American style and steeplechase style is a fedora. And mm -hmm. it, and I found that these are all smaller brims. We have more, at Gus Meyer, we have more of the larger brims. Um, but it's definitely the pinched crown is the is the style of mm -hmm. um, for steeplechase. Uh, I've seen more men at Derby looking for hats, which is really, really cool because it's always the men are kind of an afterthought for their headwear, um, but they're really wanting the hat. And then the wife wants, or the couple, you know, they want um, they want to look like they're they belong together. So they're really more pairing of like the hat band might have the yeah. color of of, one, of something in the hat or the dress of the woman. So it's really cool to see that. I, I mean, love I've it. wanted to see that for a long time. It's finally happening. And you can make it all happen. <laughs> yeah. You can meet Christine at Gus Meyer at the Mall at Green Hills through Friday. She can help you choose a hat for the Iroquois steeplechase or any other occasion. You can get all the details online at newschannel5.com. Thank you so much, Christine. Great oh, to see you. you. It's great to see you always.